Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video. I told y'all I was going to be back. And look at here, your boy back again. But I want to ask y'all something before we get started with this video. Have you ever had people that became so disgruntled with you? I'm pretty sure you have. And if you're watching this video and the answer is yes, this is the main topic for you all right now. I'm telling you all right now, this is the main topic for each and every last one of you that's watching this video. So you may want to stay tuned. And by the way, happy Monday. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Oh, by the way, I see the new subscribers is popping in, so shout out to y'all. But if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Trust me, you will not regret it. And content is coming back to back, back to back. So yeah, stay tuned. But ladies and gentlemen, no chit chat. Let's get it. They are so disgruntled with you because you refuse to give up. Remember, y'all were born survivors. And people that gave up on their life, on their purpose, on, on, on their dreams, they get mad at you, angry, pissed off, and mad at you because you refuse to give up. You see, you refuse to tell people your plans. That's why they're so disgruntled with you. This is between you and God only. That's why people are so nosy. And when you don't tell them nothing, they get so mad because they know you got a plan. They know you're going somewhere in life. And here's another thing why people are pissed off at you. Because you do not let society tell you how to run your life. When society push you down, you don't stay down like these people do. You get back up. But see, between you and them, y'all not the same. Y'all don't talk the same. You don't walk the same. Your vocabulary is not the same. Y'all don't even walk the same. You don't dress the same. You don't smell the same. As a matter of fact, y'all even breathe different than these folks. But people are so mad at you because you choose to be different. You dare to be different. But mediocre people, today's society, and today's era, are afraid to be different because they're scared they're going to get criticized. You're going to get criticized anyway. Everybody get criticized for something. But these losers, they want to be so accepted by society. And that's why they wake up every day mad at the world because they're not chasing at their day purpose like you is. And they had to get all their Barbie click Power Rangers squad. That's to stop you. Hell, they couldn't even stop you. Satan couldn't stop you. Nobody can't stop you. You are unstoppable. Do you hear me right now? Each and every last one of you that's watching this video, y'all is unstoppable. And people get mad because you're not giving up. You refuse to give up. Your mama, your daddy, grandma, grandpa, whoever raised y'all, they did not raise no critters. You are not a quitter. You are a winner. You ain't got loser in your blood like they do. They got loser written out in their DNA. They got losers, or should I say, they got non-confident, non-confidence swimming in their blood cells. But when they sniff it on you, they get mad. But see, here's the thing about these folks. When they see somebody like you that's processing, these people know you finna get blessed. When they know all the work you putting in, start coming in. Which means you are a seed. And it takes a long time for a seed to grow. But as they see processing through the dirt, it start getting results. And then it start becoming to a plant. The leaves and everything start poking out. The veins in the leaves start showing. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the same way with y'all. 
you start getting support. People start supporting you. And here's the sad thing about this. And it should have to be like this. People that you have grew up with or have watched you grow up be the main ones to try to put you down. But the ones miles away from you that you barely even know will support your business, will support you, will even send donations to you. And you don't even know these people. But the one closest to you hate your guts because you refuse to accept society telling you what to do with your life. They made that decision. You know what? As a matter of fact, they let society made that decision. That's why they mad at you because you had the guts, you had the balls to get up and say, you know what? I ain't finna end up like these folks. I ain't finna end up miserable. I ain't finna end up being pissed off for the rest of my life. You know what you did? You got up and did something about it. Unlike them, you got up and chased your dreams. Unlike them, you ain't care if people didn't like you. You let that be your feud. That was your main ticket right there. People throwing dirt on your name. And because you refused to give up, people got so angry, mad, and pissed off at you. Every time they see you, they slamming doors, punching holes in the walls, cursing, doing all this stupid stuff. I'm talking about people are taking their anger out on other folks because of you. People are so mad. <clears throat> Excuse me. They they are so mad. They go home and take their anger out on their kids or on their pets. Or they be going through something at home that when they see you, they want to put their baggage or their, toxic, their toxicity energy on you. And when that don't work, now they want to get other people to join their miserable train. Now all these losers want to hop on the hate train. They want to hop on that miserable hate train. And when that don't work, they start telling lies. And when the lies don't work, now they want to wish ill towards you. And guess what? When that don't work, which it ain't going to work anyway because we're number, no weapon from against you shall not prosper. Now all these this grungle gorillas, or shall I say these this grungle buffoons quite to sit right there and watch the winner that you are. Y'all came out of your mama a winner. Your mama and your daddy birthed a winner. They birthed a goat. But they didn't know that. Quite frankly, you didn't know it either. But guess who did? God did. This is why y'all stood out. So for so many years this is why you couldn't get along with certain people because they was not on the same level like you was this is why people certain type of folks low individuals will look at you like you crazy they will mistake your confidence your confidence as cocky and arrogant they're looking at you who the Sam hell you think you are and you know what? They never put a few inside of you. If you think different, these people literally, they helping you. Because remember, your haters are your motivationals. Which means your haters are like the medicine that you really need. Your haters are your biggest fans. Your haters, they only making y'all greater. They're making your name greater. So you're using that as an advantage. You're using that as fuel. You're using that. Okay, you want those stones at me? Okay. And you know what y'all said? Y'all outsmarted these people. So you took them stones and you started climbing. Now they want to get upset now. Now they ain't shaming and birds. They didn't want to send their little Power Rangers or their Powerpuff Girl click 
They're going to send one of them. Pay attention and stay with me. They want to send one of these folks. And that's like the devil. The devil want to send one of his minions, one of his demons, to disguise themselves as a supporter angel. They didn't want to get close to you act like they a friend. Be aware of folks like this. Because they will try to act like a good actor or a good actress. But the smart person that you is, you're going to count it out. Which means count it out, you're going to call it out. That's why I meant to say, excuse me. You're going to call out this person. And if you will, you will embarrass them. Because these people, they know better. But guess what? If you know better, you'll do better. So they choose not to do better. But the only thing they good at is trying to destroy you. They trying their best. That's the only thing they good at is trying. But anything else, they ain't good at nothing. The only thing they want to do is see you squirm like a worm. They want to see y'all suffer out here. They figure, hey, if I can't do it, you can't do it either. Well, guess what? The devil is a liar. Because correct me if I want. And I'm not trying to be no preacher or anything or trying to quote anything, but doesn't it say this in the Bible? I could do all things through Christ. That gives me the strength. Didn't it say that? Yeah, it did. So when you get in strength, you get in strength from the Most High. You get in strength from Christ. And people that work for Satan, they ain't got no strength in them whatsoever. Because if they did, they would not be sitting up here worrying about you. They would not be sitting up here angry at you. This grunger at you. People are so mad. Let me tell you how mad they is. They are so mad. That every time they see you winning and God blessing you, they get that little vein pop up in their forehead. Y'all got people so angry. They like they sitting on the toilet, constipated. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all got people out here afraid. Because they are dying to see you lose. They praying on your downfall. But every time you disappoint these people, you make these people cry. You got them angry. They, they doing all this huffing and puffing. They act like little kids. Doing temper tantrums. Punching holes in walls. Hell, they slamming their own phone on the concrete. Every time somebody talk good about you. They cussing up a storm. They fighting the air. What the hell are they doing? Talking about they did this fighting, fighting, fighting. They fighting Casper. <laughs> what are these folks doing? I'm talking about they're just swinging their arms, cussing. People are weird, y'all. They are weird. With a capital W. Weird. <laughs> because they... I'm going to say this. Because you refuse to give up. You refuse to lay down for, for anybody. Fake friends, fake marriages, fake family members. I don't care who they is. You refuse to lay down and accept life the way it is. It's more than this. Y'all was not put here on this earth to work for somebody else and make somebody else's dreams come true. No, 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 no. The devil is a liar. But they choose to stick in that matrix, kiss butt program, that's on them. But when it come down to you, you are a diamond in the rough. You the only crowd in that barrel that had escaped. Now these people want to pull you down. They want to pull you back into that barrel. But guess what? It's not easy. Success come with pain. When I say come with pain, it come with pain. Y'all been through hell and back. 
I've been through hell and back. I made it out the fire, and look, no bruise, no scratch on me. I even beat the devils behind. That's why us, chosen ones, spiritual leaders, kings and queens, diamond royals, whoever you is, we terrified. I mean, excuse me, we not terrified, but good. I gotta say that because ain't nothing going to terrify us. Let me correct myself. We ain't terrified of nothing. The devil and his little minions, they terrify of us. Because every time we get knocked back down, we get right back up. And when we get back up, oh boy, when we get back up, that's all she wrote. That's all he wrote. That's why these people are intimidated about us. Our strength, our wisdom, our knowledge, and understanding. It scares people. It makes people want to this. I can't explain it, but it makes people lie down. Every time we get back up, it makes them sit to their stomachs. Good. Because guess what? long as we win, these idiots, these gorillas, or shall I say these buffoons, they are going to continue to get sick. So am I ready to have a crackers, soup, ginger ale? Because guess what? long as we breathing, we're going to keep on winning. We're going to keep on disappointing these fools. Because remember, when you were struggling, None of these folks didn't want to help you. They were talking about you then, but now you made it to the top and God had elevated you or now they really talking. But at the same time, they pissed off. This same Burger King, they can't, they can't always have it their way. And they thought they were going to have it their way if you would have accepted by being beat up by society like they are. They did that society whoop on them. Like, pew, pew, pew. Society, you know, whoop that behind. But it came down to y'all. God gave them that Ama Ali hook, the Mike Tyson hook. God gave them the rock bottom, the Stone Cold Steve Austin stunner. But every time you come out of a situation, you come out of there, no scratches, no bruises, no nothing. Y'all don't even look like what you have been through. And that upsets people. People walk around here like they on drugs. People walk around here like they let life beat them up. And I'm sad to say this, but it does look like that. Have y'all ever seen a group of people walk around here mad at the world? Don't give a darn about nothing. Tell me I just walk around here with a... You be like... You know, you be making faces, but not to be judgment, you be like, you know, like, I don't want that person around me. That energy is so sloppy. You can smell it. It's like you a shark in the water, and you can smell that sloppy energy in their blood. Hey, if you was a shark, you wouldn't be eat them, because you know why? Toxicity is in their blood. And you wouldn't want none to do with these folks. Period. P-E-R-I-O-D. Especially mark. Period. But man, every time y'all win, it does something to people. People get all of their feelings. People want to take your place. But like I said, the devil was sending a supporter angel that was smiling in your face. But the whole time, them buffoons want to take your place. So be careful, because this season, God finna elevate you. But also, before he elevates you, he's going to reveal to you who can't stand your guts, who been, copy, who been competing with you, who been jealous of you. All the truth is finna come out. The truth will be the truth 
will be prevailed. Everybody that spit on your name, guess what? They're going to sit right there and watch you win. Like the winner that you are. Because remember, you were born a winner. And ain't nobody can do a doggone thing about it. Because God had put that inside of you ever since y'all was some babies. But now they want to get mad. <laughs> now they want to have a temper tantrum. Now they're trying to get everybody to team up with them. But now everybody looking at them. Dude, you crazy. Girl, you crazy. That person ain't did nothing to me. Why are you mad? They mad, mad, mad. These people are furious. When I say they are furious, they are furious than too fast. <laughs> but hey, when you are trying, when you put your all into it, you take one step, God doing the rest, and people see you not giving up. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, you're struggling. But guess what? Them days of struggling is about to be over. Them days are not having enough money, all of that, for them to be behind you. Then these buffoons going to be asking you for money, asking you for a handout. They could be like the gross sisters or proud family when they see you go hand a hand out like this. And you can look at them like they're crazy. But they the same very people that spit on your name, talk bad about y'all, but want to hand out all of a sudden. People are weird, like I said. But let them be this grunt all they want to. But remember, like I said, and remember the song. You are a survivor. If you don't know that song, look it up. Destiny's Child, Survivor. Y'all survive everything that the devil and these people try to put you through. Just like me, y'all made it through hell and back. Came out of there. No scratches, no bruises. Y'all beat the devil up. We beat Satan. That's why the devil and his little workers is so terrified of us. We too tough. We too strong. Too smart. Some of you street smart. Some of you book smart. Some of you book smart and street smart. And that's a dangerous combination to have when it comes down to these buffoons. Because they lack of that. They lack of knowledge, common sense. They lack of confidence, confidence, and they lack of good hygiene. How the same hell you get hate, criticized, and you stink. They struggling real bad. That's why they're asking y'all for handouts. Don't give them nothing. Don't even acknowledge them. And know these folks. But you use them stones they are throwing at y'all as stepping stones. Because remember, God is about to make your enemies y'all footstool. So you take them stones and you start using them as stepping stones. And you climb your way to the top. But let them be mad all they want to. Because they ain't stopping nothing. When I say they ain't stopping nothing, they are not stopping a doggone thing. But let these fools be mad all they want to. Because at the very end, when it's all said and done, 
You were the one that put in the work. You was the one. The one to make a change. And people don't like changes. They scared of that. When I say they're scared of that, they're scared. It intimidates them. But ever since y'all made some changes, people are turning on you. Don't want to be your friend no more. Good. Let the trash take itself out. Let the trash recycle itself. Because these people can't go with you going anyway. Screw them. That's why they say it's lonely at the top for a reason. Everybody can go. But guess what? Soon as you make it to the top, other folks that's at the top already is going to celebrate your success. So let them be disgruntled. Let them be angry. Let them have that little incredible hook moment of theirs. They ain't going to do nothing. These people ain't bad. Who did that to y'all, Michael Jackson? They ain't bad. But you the one that put in the work, so I shall call y'all bad. I should call y'all super bad. <laughs> like James Brown said, y'all super bad. Y'all got soul. And cry frankly, they don't. They would never amount to anything. But ever since y'all were babies, you amount for something. More than something. Because whoever watching this video, y'all got a whole lot of gifts. Some of you sang it, actors, acting, rapping, rappers. Some of you motivate people. Some of you are therapists. Some of you can tap people on the shoulder and curse them with words like I'm doing. We all got gifts. Everybody got gifts. Even our enemies, they got gifts. But they choose not to chase after their dreams. So when y'all, or when we, make our goals into reality, they get mad. They start, who he think he is? Who she thinks she is? They start hating. And if you don't have enemies, you are not doing nothing right in life. But when you have enemies, guess what? That means you are succeeding. That means you becoming successful. Because ain't nobody going to hate on a loser. If you're a loser, you ain't got nothing going on. But if you are a winner, dog on it, prepare to have a lot of enemies. Prepare a lot of people to turn their backs on you. Old friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever. You all know you can't trust nobody these days. But let me say this, God can send you the right people that's going to love you for who you is. They ain't going to have no jealousy in their bone, no whatsoever. Those are the right people that y'all need in your life. So the trash will take itself out, let the trash go. These people that's mad and disgruntled, let them be angry. Let them sit there like a bunch of little kids. And had tip of tantrums. Tell them to go sit in the corner. Like the little boy, the little girl that he is. With the Dutch hat sitting on top of their head. <laughs> but yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all doing a good job. Keep up the good work. I'm proud of you. And you made it to the end of this very video. Shout out to each and every last one of y'all. Because we're number. We going up and up and up. It ain't nothing the devil or his little workers can do anything about it. With that being said, God bless, and I'll catch y'all next video. Y'all be safe out there. Adios.